Let's think back. Where did we, where was the first thing we began with under indices, powers, exponents? What's the definition of an index? If I wrote, you know, a to the power of m, what does that even mean? It means a times a times a. How many times? m times, right? Okay, so let's actually write that. It's a times a times a, and I don't know however many times m is, right? But if it was one or five or sixty, whatever it is, right? So I would write that that is m times. That's what a to the m, a to the power of m rather, is. Okay. So then we took this idea and we said, look, we can we can build on this, right? If you've got two numbers like this, a to the m and a to some other base, right? So this is what we wrote. And if you multiply them by each other, right? You could rewrite it like this and count it up, but that took forever. Instead, we wrote down what we call an index law, right? It's equal to that base, and what's the power? What do you do? When you, when you multiply, you add the, the indices, right? So it's m plus n. Okay, is this ringing bells? Yes, okay. In exactly the same way, if I go division like this, Okay, you subtract the indices. Okay, you take the difference. So far, so good. And then one of the most important things we dealt was, you know, if these two numbers are the same, m and n, right? a to the m minus, divided by a to the m, you get a to the power of zero, right? But then we said, well, that must be one. That must be one. That was the last um, law, if you like, that we established. So there's one, two, three laws. Then we raise this question, okay? We said, look, any number to the power of zero, it's one. In the same way, you know, I could put this on the side. Zero to the power of any number, that's zero, right? Zero squared, zero cubed, zero to the power of 100, zero to the power of any paying attention. I'm waiting. What? <laughs> He's what? waiting for you. Away, cool, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Remember last lesson you said zero to the power of zero? Ah, good, yes. Yeah. So, what happens when you put these together? Right? One. Any number to the power of zero is one. Any zero, zero to the power of any number is zero. So, what happens when you put them together? Yeah, okay? Yeah. Now, now, therein lies the question. Now, here's the way we're going to do it. And you'll need your calculators for this. Okay. In fact, I'm going to get mine out. We're going to need everyone's calculators as well because I'm going to ask you to help me do some numbers. Okay? So get your calculator out. Okay. So here's the thing. Right? If you're looking from this angle, if you're approaching along this way from this guy, you'd say it should be zero. If you come from this direction, you'd expect one. So is it either of those or is it something different entirely? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to draw up a table. You don't need to draw this table, but you're going to help me fill it in. Okay. <clears throat> what I want us to think about is what these numbers are equal to. If I'm starting to get close to, you know, really small numbers to the power of really small numbers. Okay. So if you want, what we're about to do is something called limits. I'll explain that shortly, but just so you know what we're doing. All right. Now here's what you need on your calculator. Um, in the middle, up the top, there's a power button, okay? It looks like an X with a little square sort of filled in at the corner, okay? So if you type that in, for example, if you go, let me turn this on. If you go seven, and then you press that power button, right? And that little box will appear. So I, this is what I typed, I typed seven, then I typed that X with a box. Now if we type something like three, okay? So now three appears up in the power, right? So seven's the base. And three is the power, and you press equals, and you get 343. 343. Okay, so seven cubed is 343. Now here's what we're gonna do. I want us all to get a whole bunch of different numbers. Okay, so hands up who's got a proper calculator, like not a, not a phone, a proper one. Good. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I want to write down a series of things, right? And then I want us to um, work out what their value is. Okay, so value and and limits. Hmm. hmm. What shall I call this? I'll leave that blank. I'll think of a better name in a second. Okay, so 
really important that we do the um the calculations with your calculator, okay? So raise your hand again so I can assign some um, numbers, okay? Yeah, everyone raise your hand so I can see. Okay, all right. Jared, you get the hardest one, okay? You get one to the power of one, okay? Keep your hand up. Kyle, you get 0 0.9 to the power of 0 0.9. Just find out okay. okay, Jack, you can do 0 0.8 to the power of 0 0.8. You see where I'm going, right? Tom, 0.7. It was you, right? Good, okay. All right, let's start from the top. And again, remember, three decimal places, okay? Jared, make sure you read it carefully. Don't miss out any details. What did you get? I got one. One. Right. Any decimal places? Okay, so I'm going to go to zero, zero, zero. Is that okay? There you go. All right. Kyle, you are next. Point nine. Zero point nine zero nine. Zero point nine zero nine? Okay, good. Um, were you next, Jack? Zero point eight three six. Eight three six. Okay, good. Tom? Seven, seven, nine. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second before we get to Lucas's number. Just look up for a second, and let's have a look at what's happening. Just have a look at what's happening, okay? I'm trying to establish a pattern. Can you see the numbers are getting smaller and smaller? I'm trying to get to this, right? I'm trying to get closer and closer. At this point, if you had to guess at this point, what would you think would happen when we get to zero to the power of zero? What does it look like it's going to? It looks like they're going to zero, right? Like they were dropping. No, hmm. you just wait. Well, let's keep going. Okay, who are we up to, Lucas? We'll see. Um, 0 0.736. 736. Okay, who is next? Was it? Nelson. Yeah? Yep. 0 0.0707. 0 0707? Okay, all right. Let's do another one. 0 0.693. Okay, good. Now, we'll pause there before we move to um, the next number. The people who were suspicious before should now have cause to be even more suspicious. Because look, the numbers are decreasing, right? Ah, uh, but not much. Look at these guys, right? They're getting quite close together. They are decreasing, but they're slowing down. Yeah, that's right. Well, actually, we call, that's exactly what it is. We call this exponential growth, but what we're looking at seems to be exponential decay. But anyway, that's an aside. Gets even more interesting. Okay, who had point three? Yeah, Natalie. Zero point six nine six. Six nine six. What? Going up. What happened? Ooh. My my slowing down what? is not even slowing down. It's gone the other way. It's turned around. Okay, let's keep going. Point two. Zero point seven two four. Whoa, hold on. Two four. So We're climbing again. We're climbing. Okay, Chloe, go ahead. Zero point seven nine three. <gasps> Okay, now this is interesting. I'm, I'm getting closer, aren't I? I'm getting there, but... I'm, number one, I'm not there. Number two, you see how from here to here we were slowing down, right? These, these gaps are getting very, very small. But now that I've turned around, the gaps are getting bigger. See, that, that gap's like 0.3. This gap's like 0.7, right? So, what's going on? Okay, now, we need more numbers. So we need your calculators again. Here are the numbers I'm going to suggest. Let's go, let's get half of this. What's half of 0.1? I think it's 0.05, isn't it? So, Jared, you got gypped out by doing 1 to the power of 1. So why don't you do 0.05 to the power of 0.05, okay? Um, Kyle, do you want to do, uh, let's go smaller again. Let's go 0.02 to the power of 0.02, okay? Jack, do you want to do 0.01? Okay, I'll tell you what the next one is in a second. Jared, can you tell me what yours is? 0 0.860. 0 0.860. Hmm, still in, in, increasing, yep. 0 0.924. 0 0.924, still increasing, yep. 0 0.954. Hmm. Okay, now this time, we've sort of been going towards zero but in smaller chunks, okay? I want to get there faster, okay? So this time, Tom, what I want you to put in is, and other people can see if they can get the answer faster, if you like. Uh, Let's go 10 times smaller. at 0 0.001, okay? What do you get? Get 0 0.993. 993? Okay, let's go again. Let's go 10 times smaller again. 0 0001 to the power of 0 0.0001. What's that equal to? You got it, Lucas? Yeah. Um, yep. 0.999. Ah. Now, just because we've hit nines, what are the, uh, just out of curiosity, what are the other decimal places? Uh, zero, seven, nine, three, nine. 
Okay, all right. Uh, Ali, Ali, can you do the next one? Let's do 0 0.0000001. How, how That's four zeros. zeros. And to the power of 0 0.00001. That's four okay. zeros, one? Yep, four zeros and then a one. What do we get? And I'm going to need more decimal places this time. What happened? Did it break? Uh, you missed a one, man. <laughs> uh, oh, go, go back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Math oh. error. What'd you get? Zero point yep. nine 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 eight eight four eight seven seven. Okay. Four. Cool. All right. I got the next one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> five zeros. Uh, five. Oops. Sorry. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. What do we get? Uh, zero point nine 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 six one. eight six one eight four six. Okay. Okay. Starting to get the point, right? <laughs> now, this is interesting. I, if I'm correct, if you can go far enough with your calculator, we'll I think on. you will convince your calculator that it gets to one, I suspect. Okay. okay, I can't, well, you can sit down and you can try and prove it. I'm proving it right. But can you see, we've done two things, okay? First, oh we saw it dropping down, right? But then, it turned around. It started to increase, like this. But then it didn't increase forever. Oh. Clearly. No, 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 no. <laughs> did anyone get a one? Yeah. Anyone, how many zeros did you have to put? I just kept spamming. You just kept on going zeros until. Okay, fine. 20, sir. 20? 20 zeros? Okay, there you go. So, what you've done, by the way, to get one, all you've done is you, your calculator has run out of nines. That's all it's done. Like, if we had a longer calculator, uh, or maybe some of your phones have more digits on them, you go. It doesn't have it doesn't have notation for that. And also, the nines don't repeat forever. There are other numbers here, so you can't use a repeater. Okay, so therefore, therefore, we never got to zero. It's not one or zero. But the well, it's not quite either, is it? But the the best definition that we can get, like what it seems to be going toward, is it seems to be going toward one. Okay, that's the best we can say. Well, wouldn't right? it jump up again? See, it starts to break down if you go further, because yes. with negatives it doesn't quite work. Also, okay. what is the well, see, here's the thing. This answer, like this is an answer we decide. The numbers and the, you know, we, this start from our definition, right? So it's what makes the most sense in this context, okay? Let me finish it off by coming back to this idea. What you are all doing with your calculators is called taking a limit. There's this idea, this thing which is approaching a certain number. We can never get there, but you can get very, very close. So if you're the curious type, you can write this and you can wow your friends with it, okay? Um, it's a bit of weird notation, but I'll explain what it means in a second. You should write it down though. It looks like this. Okay, this thing, what does it mean? It's it's like it. it means, like see this thing, right? It means as x approaches zero, Right, you can see the arrow x is going there. Okay, um, as x gets closer and closer and closer to zero, what happens to this guy here? This that to the power of itself, and the answer is it goes to that. That's what it does. Okay, uh, it never gets there, but that's where it's going. If it could get there, that's what would happen. Okay. So I hope that gives you a bit of a conclusive answer. Um, that's why if you go and look up on the internet, which I know some of you did, that's why you'll find ah. this is the conclusion. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, why does it go like when it's, as soon as it gets to like 0 0.4? Um, like you mean why does it turn around here? Yeah. Ah, now that's, that's a good question. Good question yeah. And I don't have an answer to that. At least, I mean, I don't have one right now, probably because I haven't really thought about it all that much, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I wonder, I mean, there's always, there's always reasons for everything. Um, so maybe we could find out. But anyway, there you go.